This month we're doing the St. Joseph's altar and traditionally there are different bread forms representing St. Joseph and Jesus and the Holy Family on the altar. To do that, I'm going to make my favorite simple white bread recipe. And if you're not into making bread, you can use these dinner rolls to make them as well. While I'm making the bread recipe, the dinner rolls are going to be cut, are going to be defrosting. But we don't want we just want to get them defrosted, but they still need to be cold when we form them. So while they're defrosting, I'm going to make the bread dough. The first thing I need to do is get half a cup of warm water. Of warm water, and by warm I mean I stick my finger in it and it feels warm. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. I use instant yeast and about a tablespoon of it. If you, you can also buy the packets and just use one packet. You want to put in two teaspoons of granulated sugar. Stir it up. Now we're going to let it proof for five minutes. I should have said before, all your ingredients need to be at least at room temperature unless I say otherwise. So now we're going to add I use a teaspoon of salt because I think that's plenty. The recipe I use is from James Beard. He says to use a tablespoon. Personally, I think that's too salty. Personal preference. <clears throat> so we add a teaspoon of salt. I'm using my stand mixer because I'm lazy. We've mixed it together. My yeast is nice and foamy. So we're going to add that in. I, I forgot to say I put three and three quarter cup of flour in this bowl before I added the salt. We're going to add in three quarter cup of warm water again. Again, I tested that by sticking my finger in it. The recipe says to do this with your with a wooden spoon or your hands. Like I said, I'm lazy. I'm going to do the last bit here with my hands. This dough feels a little dry to me, so I'm going to add a little bit more water. Our dough is now all mixed together. The recipe says to knead it by hand for five to ten minutes. Again, I'm being lazy. I'm going to use my stand mixer. I will do the last several kneads by hand and I will show you that but I'm going to do this part with my stand mixer. If it keeps sticking to the side of the bowl I will sprinkle some more flour over it but only little sprinkles at a time but since I'm using the stand mixer I probably won't have to add any more until I get it on the counter. So I've kneaded it in the stand mixer for about five minutes and this is what it looks like now. You can see it's much smoother and when I round it into a ball, it only breaks, see this rough part right here, it only breaks a little bit. So I've put some flour on my counter and now I'm going to knead it some more. Which means, I put it flat, I fold it in half, I use the heel of my hand and push away from me, turn it a quarter turn, fold it in half, push it away. This is the part that if you're ever having a really frustrating day, make bread. You can take it out on the bread, no one gets hurt, and you feel better. And your family gets to enjoy a nice homemade loaf of bread. So it just takes a couple of more kneads, like this. And 
your bread is ready to rise. So you make it into a nice little ball, and then you take your bowl, I save the butter papers, You rub the inside of the bowl with that so that it does not get former, so it doesn't stick to the bowl. You rub it around on the bowl so that it doesn't form a crust. Cover it with a towel. And now we're going to stick it in my oven with the oven light on because it's a cold day and that will keep the oven warm and the oven is a draft free location and this will take about an hour and a half to rise and while that is working, while that's rising, I'll get to work on the bread rolls. So now our bread rolls are defrosted but they're still cold. You want them still cold because you don't want them to have started to rise yet and now we're going to form them. I have 12 of them right here and I'm going to form them into the little fish symbol, one for each of the 12 apostles. So I'm going to roll it into a rope. And to form it, you just do that. And we're going to do that 11 more times and stick them on a cookie sheet. So there are 12 fish. The next thing we're going to make is three nails to represent the nails that nailed Jesus to the cross. And we're going to put those in this spot here on the pan and then we'll stick them in the oven and let them rise. The bread rolls take three to five hours from frozen to, rock, to double in size. Since these have been warmed up in my hand, I'm really not sure how long it's going to take, so I'm going to have to keep my eye on it. To make the nails, I'm going to use this as my representative sample. It is a nail that was made by my son Nicholas in his blacksmithing class. So let's see what we can do. I have three rolls that I set aside to make a nail, but I think that's going to be too much. So I'm going to put some flour on it. Make it fatter at the top pointy at the bottom, flatten the top, so there we go. It's not perfect. But I think you get the idea. Again, they're not perfect, but I think they're going to work. So I have one and a half left. I'm going to make a T-square. A carpenter tool for St. Joseph. The idea. It'll be an impressionistic T-square. How's that look? There you go. So we're going to let this rise and when the bread dough I made is done, I'll come back and make some more forms. Okay, so our dough has risen about double. I'm going to get a knife and make rule marks on our square. I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees and then we will stick it in there. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll have to keep an eye on it because they are smaller than they would have been if they were left in the original shape. Now we're going to go look at the bread dough. It's 
and it is doubled. So I'm going to punch it down to deflate it. And now we get to form it into our shapes. So I think I'm going to make a mallet and adds, I think it aids, A-D-Z-E, however you pronounce that. And a chisel. A plane. I could make a plane, but it's not. That's just like a long ruler looking thing. I can't make the, can't make it look like sandpaper. Uh, I used, usually made a ladder so they could get to the roof. Maybe I can make a small ladder. We'll think about it. Small so, ladder. Doo -doo -doo. So I'm going to use the smaller one to make the mallet. I need two pieces. One for a handle. But we need a thick handle because it's got to be a strong hammer. And then this is a mallet, not like a modern day hammer with a claw on the other end. I'm going to pinch the dough to join it. And since no one's going to eat this, It ends up falling apart instead of rising together. I will probably glue it. I'm going to get a pan. Okay, so there's our mallet. Now we're going to make the ads or aids. I'm going to use make this one all of a piece. So it's got a handle. And then it's got a sharp blade at 90 degrees. It is not going to end up looking sharp because it's dough. <laughs> the one I like the look of the best had a handle kind of like this. It looked more like a hand tool than a gardening tool. This is the tool that they, the first century carpenters like Joseph and Jesus as he was taught as a boy um, would have used to um, smooth out the wood. So it would have been used kind of like this to take off the rough edges of a piece of wood to make it flat. There's our handle, and there's our sharp blade to be used in this motion. So hopefully that will hold its shape. 
And then I said a chisel, which again, I don't, I don't know, we'll see. Um, which is another blade. We want a flat blade like that. That's more dough than we need for the handle. Okay, so trying to get the line of the bread on the side of it, tuck that under. Make kind of a triangle wedge shape here for a chisel. Now we're going to do, sure. now I'm going to make a ladder that they might have used to reach the top of a house or if they were building a synagogue. These pieces will be the rungs. These two are the edges or sides of the ladder. These are my rungs. Okay, so here we have the ads, here we, or aids, or however you say that word. Here we have a mallet of sorts. This is our chisel, and we have a ladder. I'm going to cover this with a towel and let it rise for roughly 30 minutes and we'll stick it in a 350 degree oven.
Okay, so this is what they look like when they're coming out of the oven. And our fish puffed up huge, but you can kind of see what they are. We'll put these down over here. I am making dinner, so that's what's on the stove. It's chilly tonight. And here are the forms we made with the homemade bread. They're still mostly recognizable. We're going to stick them in the oven. And we're going to give them 25 minutes. Whoops. Timer 25 minutes. The, these forms ended up taking a total of 20 minutes to cook. See you in 25. Who's making the noise? Just stop moving for literally a minute and a half. Okay, I had to put it in for another 10 minutes. So after 35 minutes, here's what it looks like. We've got our ads or aids, however you say it. We've got our chisel, our mallet, and our ladder. I'll see you on Saturday.